What's up, guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604. Welcome back to Automobilista and um, part two of my series on While We Wait. So in this series, I'm kind of looking at sim content that uh, is late in being delivered. So uh, in this case, we're looking at the Ritza DLC pack for R Factor 2. Should be having it. Today is March 1st, 2019. We should have it on our hard drives within a few weeks, I would think. We just got confirmation. Uh, today or yesterday, I can't remember which, uh, that Imola will be officially a part of R Factor 2, which is really, really cool. One of my favorite tracks. And speaking of favorites, this car, this Metal Moro AJR, uh, I haven't seen an official car list, but I have seen some screenshots. So, to my knowledge, this will be included as part of this DLC pack. And that's cool because it's my favorite car in uh, Automobilista. Whoa, come on, sir. Why are you slowing down like that? Keep right. Keep right. All clear. Clear. So the DLC pack, I think, is going to rock. Not only because it's my favorite content, but because Ritza, I feel at this point, they're, you know, one of the most talented developers in sim racing, but sort of uh, held back by the generation of their sim Automobilista because it's based on R-Factor 1 it is looking a bit dated there are certain shader tweaks and things like that you can do to it but uh, nothing to bring around VR and if I'm totally honest nothing to make it look as good as current gen sims it's never going to look as good as the Seto Corsa or Project Cars 2 or anything like that However, the handling, force feedback, physics, things like that, is uh, at least as good as both those other sims that I just named. In fact, the force feedback, I don't know that any other sim is quite this good. It feels absolutely phenomenal through my direct drive wheel. You really feel a sense of connectedness to the road. Just going to do a seven lap race here. So, the Metal Moro AJR, for those wondering, if you're not familiar with it, it's not a popular car on the world stage, certainly, but uh, to my knowledge, quite popular in Brazil. And a very nice race car. If you can drive a GTR1, excuse me, a GT1 car, you should be able to drive this AJR no problem. I think it's about the same power to weight ratio. Handles kind of similar. You can feel the arrow sometimes, but it's not uh, it's certainly not a boring car to drive. It's not predictable like a GT3 or GT4 car. It's got a bit more life to it than that. So we'll be interested to see what uh, Ritza and Studio 397 come up with in partnership, how the car drives. Looking for an opening here. Left side, car left, hold your line. Clear left, clear, on your left, still there. All clear. Got him. He may try and sneak under me here. And yeah, Imola, we kind of come to take it for granted. One of the more popular courses in a set of courses, so we think it's just part of sim racing everywhere. Uh, Project Cars 2, of course, has it, but uh, R Factor 2. Um, yeah, has very little in the way of F1 circuits or former F1 circuits in this case. So it'll be nice to see that brought in. Now what I am curious about, well a few things that I'm curious about with this pack. Uh, number one, the cost, how expensive it will be. 
and if I had to speculate, I would say 15 euro or 15 dollars US, there thereabouts. Uh, second thing is, will we get four layouts of Imola like we have in Automobilista? There are four different errors, error, eras, I should say, of Imola represented in this sim, if I'm not mistaken. Two from post-2000, two from pre-2000. And also, with the AJR, there's different engine options, and I'm curious to see if uh, Studio 397 bothers with that. There's various V8s you can get with this AJR in Automobilista, as well as a Judd V10 up option. That is by no means a deal breaker, I'm just curious if they bothered to go with that or if they just pick a standard engine option. On your left. Still there. Still there. Clear left. All clear. I need to pick it up. About to get past here. Should be able to sector two typically has been very good to me at Imola. A half second gap in front and behind right now. Now, gotta catch this guy coming down the hill here. Right side, all clear. Left side, hold your line. Clear. I think that was clean. I didn't feel anything through the wheel, but uh, the replay will be the judge of that. Certainly aggressive. But hey, it's only AI. So now running 8th, I was hoping to finish in the top 10, so it looks like that will happen as long as I can hold on to this. And this thing, once the tires are warm, such a pleasure to drive. And the course speaks for itself, I think. About 60%, 70% done the race, somewhere around there. There's a battle going on. Might be able to gain one position here. These guys are really duking it out. Still there? Hold your line. Yep. Clear right. Guess I got him. On your left. Clear left. The uh, automobilista spotter is so good. The uh, R Factor 2 spotter, in my opinion, is a bit obnoxious. Something calming and reassuring about the AMS spotter, though. That's what they should do, a spotter DLC. So, second to last lap here possible that it might finish in the top five, however unlikely. More concerned at this point about keeping things on the road, making sure I don't blow this. It's been a pretty good race so far. Like that. Terrible corner.
About uh, 1.3 seconds to the car ahead, only 0.6 to the car behind. I'll put this, expand that here. Nothing doing, didn't make up much time at all. All right, it's final lap here, guys. Final lap, this is it. I was gonna say I'll go for it, but I just don't know if I can make up 1.4 seconds. Now 1.5. One point eight. No, it's not gonna happen, guys. I just gotta drive defensively here. Make sure I don't give up my uh, seventh position. So very excited about this DLC. Uh, we're into March. Should have it sometime in March. It will be a day one purchase for me. Let me know in the comments, guys. Are you at all excited about it? I know Automobilist is not a very popular sim, so I don't think this is going to have a lot of hype around it. But uh, are you excited for it? Are you excited to try cars like this? Or are you just excited about Imola or what? Let me know in the comments, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll take my seventh place. And we will see you guys next time.